All right, I'm going to look at network addresses, network masks, and network broadcasts. So for all three of these things, I'm going to be looking at class class based networks. So what is a network address? Well, a network address is the first IP address in a network. So if you have the network 10.0.0.0, the very first IP address in this 10. Dot address is 10.0.0.0. So this would be the network address for the 10. Dot range. Let's write that. Okay. So well, the very last one, well, the 10. Dot range goes from everything in 10.0.0.0 to where all three of these in the host portion are the largest numbers they can be. So you have 10.255.255.255. And this is the very last number. So this is the range from here to here. From 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. And this one is the network broadcast. last one. The mask is what you use to determine how much or which portion of the address is the network address portion and which part is the host portion. So the last three octets in this one are the host portion. The first octet is the network address portion. Now if you remember back there were three classes of network addresses that you are commonly used. There's the class A, class B, and class C. So let's go and try to determine, first of all, what a network address, a network broadcast, a network mask would be for a given IP address. If I give you the number, I don't know, one, two, three, dot, four, five, dot, six, seven, dot, eight, Nine. This right here, you can look at the first octet and determine which class this address is part of. Now, class A's, remember, were A's, once again, were 0 through 127. B's were 128 through 191. And C's were 192 through 223. There we go. So this is a class A address. And class A addresses all have 255.0.0.0 as their mask. B's have 255.0.0.0. Two five five dot zero dot zero as their mask, and C's have two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero as the mask. So for this address, the mask would be. So this is the IP address right here. IP, and its mask. Be two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. That's this network mask. <clears throat> All right. So let's go look at some other numbers now. Let's take the number. Let's see. Two hundred dot ten dot nine dot. Eight. Well, what class is this? So we want to figure out the network address, the uh, mask, and we want to figure out the network broadcast. So 
So the network address is based on what class it is. This one is class C. Class C, we look at the first three octets. And the mask for class C was once again 255.255. So if we were to convert both the mask and the IP address into binary and do a mathematical AND between the two, basically if this one has a, a 1 in this binary, each binary location where this one has a 1 and the IP address has a 1, we put a 1. Well because these are, this right here is 8 1's, which means it's going to match whatever this 8 bits converts to exactly. So we could put 200 right here, and this one is 10, so it'll match this exactly, so it'll be 10. And this one will be matched exactly, so it'll be 9. But then the last one is all zeros, so where they're both 1s, we take it over. But this one's all zeros, so they can't be both 1s, so this will have to be a 0. So the network address for this IP address would be 200.10.9.0. The broadcast would be the very last address in that network. So this network, you remember the first address is zero, and the last one is the very last, very highest number you can get. So the broadcast for this one would be 200.10.9.255. And you have to remember that this has to be the same exact network for the broadcast and the IP, the network address. They both have been the same network. And so all you're looking at is the very first one and the very last one. And this just happens to be an IP address in that range. So let's go look at a different number and determine its network address, network mask, and network broadcast. So let's take a number, let's see, let's do, um, Let's do 76.54.32.10. Well, this one happens to be a class A IP address. We know because this first octet is between 0 and 200, I mean, not 200, between a 0 and 127. So, we know that the mask, right now the mask, is going to be 255.0.0.0. Well, from that, we can tell that this first eight bits are going to be taken over for its uh, network address. So we know that it's going to be 76. Dot, and this one, we're not going to take any of this over because of a zero here. 0 .0, 0 0 The network broadcast is going to be in the same exact network. It has to be in the same network. So it has to start with 76. And all of these ones, all these one, all these zeros are gonna have to return to ones. So it's going to be 255.255.255. So that would be the network address and the network broadcast of this IP address, assuming we are working in a classful set of networks. So I think this gives you a better idea of how it works. Um, good luck.